Hi mom, it's Chris. I'm going to show you how to juice. First I'm going to show you how to use your juicer. Uh, you've got these two containers. This one with the rounded edge fits right in here. That's going to collect the juice. And then this one is going to collect the, um, the pulp. Okay. Now the way that you assemble it is you take the grinder and you put it inside the filter. There's a filter here and a filter here. You just put it inside like that. Then you take this part and you take this bottom filter is going to fit inside of this groove right on the inside. And you just gently put it in, push it till this part comes all the way through the back. Okay. Then what we're going to do is, you can see on top here, it says open and close. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this metal part, I'm going to put it in the hole. Gonna just just wiggle it till it gets into place and now it's um, closed I, I turned this dial to, to lock it in place closed means that it's locked in place then we take this part here and put it on the end and you're going to turn it um, counterclockwise to lock that in place. Then you're going to take um, this part and it just, it just fits on top like that. This can hold your vegetables or fruits. And then, and then this is your plunger and you plunge with the, the rubber end plunging down into the chute. Okay, now mom I'm going to show you how I do the vegetable setup. Um, what I do is I get this one thin, this one uh, bowl in the sink and I fill it with cold water and I get a hard brush, this hard brush and this is what I wash the vegetables with. I, I, you only really need to scrub the, um, the beets and the carrots. Everything else you can just kind of rinse. And you got to especially wash the beets because they have a lot of uh, dirt on them. Now you can back away a little bit. You can juice these the stalks from the beets. You can also I already juiced these the other day, but you can juice the greens that would be attached to the beets as well. Then you come over here and you just um, get your vegetables so uh, cut up so that they'll fit into the chute. Um, you can just kind of test it out. That one's going to fit. Let's see if this one will fit. Yep. Okay. So here I have my beets. I have my carrots. And I'm just going to cut off the, I've, I've washed these carrots already, but they, the, the tops are still a little dirty, so I'm just going to cut those, those dirty tops off and throw those out. Um, the greens, when I wash the greens, um, I just put them in the water and I wiggle them around. I do that with the cilantro and the parsley. And as you can see over here, I also have the kale. And you just put it in whole with the, the stock and all. Okay, then over here I will show you the other things we're going to be juicing. We've got red cabbage. We've got a plum. We've got a green apple. I have some uh, green cabbage. I have some radicchio. You know, if you only have one cabbage, that's fine. I have a couple of um, florets of cauliflower and I have about 12 dark colored grapes and a little smidge of ginger which is optional but it is very very healthy for you so 
I recommend it. And then here I have some cuttings of our wheatgrass and now we are ready to juice. Okay mom, now I'm going to show you what it looks like as we put each of these things into the juicer. We're going to run through them kind of fast. First is the wheatgrass and you turn on the machine here in the back. This is where the on off switch is and you want to push it to the number one. That's for um, feeding it and this zero is off and this number two is if you need to reverse it and push stuff out the other the opposite way. Stuff gets stuck. Okay. So here we go. Get your make sure that your uh, juice uh, container is in place and your okay now we've got the wheat grass. it in uh, first and then also when this leaf is going in or when anything is going in and it's you know put in less less is less is better so it doesn't get stuck but just gently tap it down to get to get things to go through okay and that's it happy juicing okay now we're gonna put in some of their cabbages And I just kind of, I just kind of rip it up as I go, if I need to, like, because the cabbage is kind of hard. And you can see that it's self-feeding, which is really nice. Okay. Um, I'll show you some of the other cabbage. Just rip it up until it um, fits in. Step it down. Now I'm going to show you, um, oh here's another, this is the radicchio. Um, here's a piece of cauliflower and what I do with this is I just break off little pieces, throw them in there. And most of it, as you can see, just feeds in all by itself. Now I'm going to take a plump, push it down. See, it gets really juicy in there. Okay. Uh, next, I will show you an apple. And with the apple, you can juice the seeds and all because the seeds are good for you. Even the cyanide that's in fruit seeds is in a form that's not poisonous to people and is actually anti cancer. Okay. And then I'll show you what the grapes look like. They're really easy. Just throw those guys in. That's the pulp. That's the juice. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you is um, some of the greens. First we'll do some um, cilantro. We just put it in the top. push it down and then uh, we'll do some kale and it kind of feeds a little bit on its own stuff it down and that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna turn this off now once 
once you're, you'll see when you're finished, you're going to end up with some pulp and some juice. And when you're done, um, what I do is I take the same bowl that I washed the vegetables in, I pour it out, put in fresh water, and then I just rinse all of the pieces of the juicer in that bowl. And you don't even have to use any soap. Just um, the juicer comes with this handy little brush. And you can use this brush to scrub out any residue from the parts. And then just put them in the drying rack afterwards. And that's it. Happy juicing.